do that. No, you're uh, you're dead on. You are dead on. All right, let's move into the Green Bay Packers. Matt LaFleur entering in his second season. They went 13-3 and three last year. Their win total for this season sits at nine, according to Bet Online. To go over is plus 130. To go under is minus 160. And to win the division, they are plus 170. So they're sitting right there, second best odds. Uh, offensive yards. What does that play? tell you, Gary? What does that tell you, Gary? <laughs> this is time to drop back to the pack. Like it seems like yeah. I wrote these odds, doesn't it? <laughs> it kind of does. Uh, hey, DFS said fun fact in ESPN fantasy leagues, Kaepernick is being drafted ahead of Sam Darnold. He said, "Okay, well, done. Okay, <laughs> all right. That makes that makes. I would take Kaepernick ahead of Sam Darnold. Um, I mean, maybe. I you know." I don't, I don't know. think Sam Darnold's going to play football much longer. I'd say, I'd, I think and somebody it, will give him a shot, but he, he probably, ain't, he ain't doing well. Uh, Joseph said, learn from Kylo Ren. You can't be Dark Vader. You just can't. Uh, Mark said, how do you guys think this virus stuff will affect the draft next year? Uh, uh, I got no idea what the draft's going to look like next year. We're a I'll long be ways in Cleveland away. for it. But we think it's so long as they oh, have I'm gonna be in Cle- I'm going to be in Cleveland. Um, yeah, you know, who knows? Who knows? I'm going to be in Cleveland. If the draft is in Cleveland, I'll be in Cleveland. DFS said, cram it in your cram hole, LaFleur. <laughs> uh, dodgeball, man. Absolutely love it. So I, right. I told you about showing my daughter that movie for the first time, right? No, we didn't talk about that. Oh, absolutely loved it. It was. It, this has been a couple months ago. But, uh, yeah, she had never seen she's it, never right heard of it. That's good. Yeah, she's uh, just turned 15 a couple weeks ago. It's perfect age, perfect age. All right, um, number 16 in offensive yards per play last year. That was not good. Um, and this will surprise you, I think. Number 22 in defensive yards per play. They gave up 5.7 yards per play on defense. Yeah, the like, defense was supposed to be amazing. They just didn't give up a lot of points. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty insane. Uh, turnover margin, they were number seven, so that obviously helped them out. Uh, they gained half of a turnover every game. They brought in free agent wide receiver Devin Funches, and then he opted out. And that was the only weapon that they brought in, the only wide receiver that they brought in. Um, so, you know, is what it is. They did not address wide receivers really at all. And and that's, you know, drafting Jordan Love in the first round, I guess, is is okay if, if that's who you are sold on, being the future of the franchise. But hmm, DFS said worst 13-3 and three team since uh, Steve Bono's Chiefs. Yeah, so – I so, so. I, I don't I don't get into the analytics the way you do, but I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to a lot of other smart guys um, that 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 dive into the analytics. <clears throat> I know this. I listened to a bunch of guys from Pro Football Focus not too long ago, and they were talking about this number. This team went thirteen and three. Their over under is nine, and they are begging people to go over. They do not want anybody betting under because they are a certain it's going to go under. And they said all the reasons from last year. This is the same team from last year as of this year, okay? They didn't lose a lot of people. They didn't bring anybody well, I mean, in. They, so they, they didn't replace uh, Brian, uh, let's see, Balaga on defense. Um, the schedule gets obviously harder. They brought in A.J. Dillon as a running back. They, they lost some dudes on uh, not a bunch on defense, but for the most part, yeah, same team. Same team. So, You're right. So – how did they win 13 games last year? Schedule. And this year they think they're going to win eight, whatever, yeah. or less. And and the only answer they could come up with was every statistical category was just dumbass luck. I mean, Aaron yeah. Rodgers was living with a horseshoe firmly supplanted inside his rectum the entire year. Yes. And that's it. That's it. If you look at it on paper, everybody says this team is not – great they're okay they maybe are average that is it they there's no chance in hell they're going 13 again that tells me i don't think they believe they can win what are the odds on them to win the division uh plus 170 so second best odds so they're not paying you very well to win the division i don't i don't think i'm following vegas here i don't think this team is good i watched them play last year i and we said this week in and week out i have no idea how this team is good like I watched them, yeah. I saw they won the game. I I don't think they're good, and I thought I was crazy. I thought there was something wrong with me. I don't like Aaron Rodgers. I don't hate Green Bay. I've never hated Green Bay. I used to love them when Favre was there. I <laughs> we went through this a couple of weeks ago. If you've been a part of the show, 
I am very much of the world when there are two rivals, you love one and you hate the other. Okay. Yeah. I I chose Favre many a year ago, and I have not changed my choice on Brett Favre over Aaron Rodgers. All right. So that that hate will be there forever. That's just what I don't know why. I I drink Coke and I don't drink Pepsi, and that's I I can't explain it. But that's it. I made my choice, and we're done. The conversation's over. Here's the issue. I I can't see this team being very good. I don't think Brian Lafleur is good as Matt, a coach. Matt Lafleur. Matt yeah. Lafleur. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. It, it, it's all I the same. I don't know right? his name because it doesn't matter. Because I don't think he's going to be there much longer. Yeah. I don't know. I think there's a world in which Roger. Hang on. I said this a couple of years ago when Lamar Jackson got drafted, and I'm going to say it again here. I think somewhere in the middle of this season, Aaron Rodgers is going to come up with some injury, and he is going to step back and get healthy, and we are going to see Jordan Love. And you then think I think so. we don't see him again for the Packers. Okay. Uh, Gomez jumps in. Nope. He said, uh, he said Aaron Rodgers can win you three more games by himself. Hope for early snow if you're a Green Bay fan. Sure, sure he can. I'll take that action as well. Uh, I'm going under. I, I've got him eight and eight. So, oh, okay. I got him seven and nine. I thought this would be the one we'd be the farthest apart on. Yeah, man. I I don't think anybody in this division is great. Like I, I think this is this is. I the, do. I think the Vikings now. When my Vikings record isn't thirteen and three, Ravens great. But I think the Vikings are going to be a very very good football team. Well, well, we'll go ahead and dive into them here momentarily. Uh, Mark jumps in. Uh, he said uh, UNLV is going to play in the Raiders' place. Might have fans in there before the Raiders. That's uh, that's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy to think about. Uh, it's kind of a little disappointing. I don't. I, if I was the Raiders, I'd almost lock that place off. That, I, I think so. Open, you spent two billion dollars on the stadium. I know you want to get some money going through it, but I want I want my team to be the first one to run through there. Yeah, I agree. Um, he said, uh, he said Notre Dame announcement that only 20% fans for the games. Look, that's a, that's a way different look than what it was last week when everybody was talking about Notre Dame might not play. So yes. I will take any fans I can get in any of these stadiums. Yes. Uh, Mark also said, I heard Aaron's nuts were removed by Danica. Um, Damien said Packers going in the basement with the Lions and DFS said exactly that.